Oh my god, oh my god, it's here, it's here, it's here. Oh yeah. After nearly three weeks, it is finally here. What is up, Ian Nation fans? This is Ian for us 48 here. Welcome back to another diecast video. I'm gonna be unboxing a very, very special diecast of mine. So for nearly three weeks, I've been teasing you guys that I got next diecast. And um, it's been on delay because the seller on eBay was an essential worker. And then the delay for shipping because of the, the health crisis that's been going on. And um, after like 20 days, it's finally here and I'm so excited to show it to you guys. S some of you guys know, if not, maybe a lot of you guys know, maybe, maybe not. Um, I'm a huge Hendrick Motorsports fanatic. They're my all-time favorite NASCAR team. And I'm so happy to show you guys what I'm going to show off. Enough talk. Here we go. It's a box. I know I'm blue balling you guys, but <laughs> the box, it is filled with, drum roll please, if I can open this son of a gun. Drum roll please. Alongside with a Terry Labonte 1998 uh, little card. The uh, corny uh, card. And I do have the die. Shit. Oh, well. I do have the die cast of the Terry Labonte card. Here it is. Very cool. But that is not what I'm going to be talking about today. But although the card is amazing. Here it is. There's Terry's corny card, the Iron Man card, the regular card from 1998. And then here is the information. You can take a pause to read it if you guys like. Alrighty then. But the real deal. Here it is. Oh, shit. The packaging of the box has been pain in the ass. But here it is. The 2006 Hendrick Motorsports 164 6 car set. Yes, after waiting for nearly three weeks, it is finally, finally here, and I am so excited to show it to you guys. This is just beautiful. As a Hendrick Motorsports fanatic, this means so much to me, and my goal is to get, like, the Hendrick car sets. Like, I got the six car set checked off the list. The next one I want to get is the 100th win uh, car set from 2001. And then the Spin Master Hendrick 5 pack, but I think that's rare as hell, and that's gonna be a hard one. But in the meantime, here is the sixth car set of the 2006 Hendrick Motorsports cars. So, with that being said, let's go with the, the cars. So, first up, it is not a Hendrick car, but let's just we're just going by numerical orders. It is the 2006 NASCAR Next Up Cup Series uh, program Chevy SS, uh, I mean Chevy Monte Carlo SS, this ain't the Gen 6. But here's the car. It's very cool that they added the next o Cup Series program. Very interesting. And, and it's on a Chevy Monte Carlo SS. So very ironic. Very beautiful. First up, before Kyle Busch went to Joe Gibbs and is known as a Joe Gibbs driver, he went. He was a Hendrick driver. This is Kyle Busch's 2006 uh, Kellogg's um, Frosted Flakes. Or just Kellogg's uh, Chevy Monte Carlo SS from Hendrick Motorsports. This is very, very cool. I finally got a Kyle Busch Hendrick Motorsports car. And then um, that's the little 360 of the car and everything. On to the next car. Next up, it is one of the greats of not only a NASCAR, but Hendrick Motorsports. Jeff Gordon's 2006 DuPont Chevy Monte Carlo SS. Although I'm a bigger fan of the Rainbow Warrior, of course this is iconic. Very amazing team, but I prefer the Rainbow Warrior, but I even have the 2001 car. 
Oh yeah. Alright. Next card. Uh, shit, I can't even get it out. I apologize. Next card is the number that's been used on the early days of Hendrick Motorsports and honestly my all-time favorite number in general. And he's the 2003 NASCAR Bush Series championship driver. Might not have success in Hendrick Motorsports, but he did win a race for them. It is Brian Vickers' 2006 GMAC Chevy Monte Carlo SS. This car was iconically known for maybe the wrong reason, right or wrong, whatever. But still memorable regardless of the 2006 South Dakota Fall Race when Brian Vickers was trying to make a move and took out Jimmy Johnson, his teammate, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. when he was in DEI. And oh boy, it was a controversial win, let's just say. Although, he was not the best at Hendrick. But hey, he still won a race for them. Can't deny that. Next up, it is one of the old school... Um, same thing with Jeff Gordon, um, the 90s driver of Hendrick Motorsports. He did part-time with them after Kyle Busch took over um, his ride in 2005. He drove his own number once again. Terry Labonte's 2006 Kellogg's Corn Flakes throwback, Chevy Monte Carlo SS. This is when Terry started doing some part-time races and started doing part-time with Hendrick Motorsports as a fifth car. And I believe he only ran the 44 because... It was his number, and um, it was iconically known for the Labonte brothers, same way, so alongside with Terry, he did a throwback scheme. I think this is when a lot of people thought he was retiring, but I think he was just racing part-time as the last year of driving for Hendrick. So I believe that's why he did that, but for the number, not 100% sure. And I do have a lot of Terry Labonte's Kellogg's cars. I even have his final ride set. Maybe I'll do a compare of that in a different video. If you guys want me to do that, feel free. Comment below. And then, the best for last. He is currently driving for Hendrick Motorsports, and I think he may retire after this year. It depends what's going on with the pandemic. And he's my all-time favorite driver, and he's made Mr. H very, very proud. Co-owner for Jeff Gordon. And it is Jimmy Johnson 2006 Lowe's Chevy Monte Carlo SS. This is when when he won the 2006 dates on a 500, the Brickyard 400, and then started a five straight championship streak in 2006. Chase wise, um, this was the car he won a championship back in 2006 and. To see Jimmy Johnson doing his uh, final farewell tour, holy cow. It's something else, let's just say. He ran this paint scheme from 2006 to 2008. And boy, oh boy. I have no other words to say. I'm speechless. But God, this is amazing. So because I finally own this diecast, I can finally put this number in order of uh, numerical orders because how I do my diecast collection is first ran because depends if they have multiple paint schemes uh first ran first the year of when it was first ran first driver first year I know I'm repeating myself but yeah that's how I do it I do first driver first year first paint scheme ran first car ran in numerical orders and I feel comfortable how this looks. Because when I opened it the first time, I was like, yeah, I can, I'll can, i fix that. And look at it now. It looks gorgeous. So beautiful. So, yeah. As a Hendrick fanatic, I am so happy I own this piece of beauty. This means so much to me. And hopefully I will continue my journey to getting like a bunch of Hendrick packs, like the 100s. Wind set, the Spin Master 5 car set, maybe the 2017 4 pack, I don't know. Um, let's see how it goes in the future for me. But in the meantime, I really hope you guys enjoy this amazing video. I am ecstatic still that 
I finally have it in my own hands and I'm looking at it right now and I'm showing it in front of you guys. So I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. I also want to thank that didn't work out. I also want to thank the eBay seller for giving me the six pack. It was on delay because he wasn't, he's an essential worker. So he's been busy during the pandemic. So that's why it's been on delay. And I want to thank him for doing what he's doing. I want to thank everybody who's working right now uh, during this crisis timing because of the COVID-19 thing. Let's just appreciate them that they're still working for us and making the world go around still. So yeah, I want to thank the eBay seller for doing what he's doing. I want to thank everybody who's working at the post office, still delivering mail packages and all that cool stuff. I appreciate everybody who's doing work during this crisis. Anyway, so I want to say thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social accounts. Instagram, I'm Impress25 and Impress48 underscore YT. Like my Facebook page, Enascope40-Enationfilms. Don't forget to support... Uh, sorry, I always forget. I always mess up the outro. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube channel notifications for more videos. I am working on a stop motion race, and I think I'm like 70 something percent done, like almost done. So it'll be out either somewhere around the weekend or somewhere around next week. So yeah, keep an eye on, on the stop motion race being uploaded. Anyway, thank you guys for supporting E Nation, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody. Don't forget to stay safe.